Welcome back to the People and Why I Love Dogs podcast. Let's get into today's episode. Today, I have my friend Kaylee, but before we get into that, I just want to let you know if you have a dog story about a dog that has changed your life, you can email me at the Why I Love Dogs podcast at gmail.com or you can send me a direct message on Instagram at the Why I Love Dogs podcast. Kaylee. Okay, so this podcast is all about dogs. It is? You have a dog. I do. You do. <laughs> Wait, I think I'm in the wrong podcast. <laughs> no, I have known Kaylee. She was in sixth grade when I was in seventh grade, and I was her classroom helper. And we have remained friends since, and that was... A really long time ago, like 10? No, more than 10 years. It's like 12 years, because I was... In, it was 2007 when I was in seventh grade. Ew. So it's literally Ew. been 12 years. <laughs> Like a decade and then some change. That's so scary. I'm not even that old. Since I've known Kaylee forever, I know that she is a huge animal person. I mean, a couple years ago, my dog chased a mom bunny out of the yard and it never came back. So I tried to raise her baby bunnies. And that night I was texting Kaylee and I was like, hey, I have baby bunnies. And she literally came to my work just to sit here with me and feed these baby bunnies from a little eyedropper. <laughs> that was the worst, yeah. So I was kind of disappointed today when there's no baby bunnies, but it is what it is. Gee, thanks. You'd rather <laughs> hang out with baby bunnies than me. I didn't say that. They were a plus, a nice plus. <laughs> you, like I said, have a dog. I Tell do. me all about Tucker. Um. Well, sophomore year of college, our other family dog had this is kind of sad um like passed away and so I like went to Germany and I kept telling my friends like we're getting a dog I want a dog when I come back we're getting a dog and my mom was like not ready but when I got back from Germany like two days later we went to look at dogs and um my mom was like was not over it clearly I mean you're not going to be over it when your family dog passes away um so we went to the first shelter and she like lost it and like was crying and was really upset and just wasn't ready and so I like gave her some space and was like well let's just go to the SPCA because you never know like the dogs there they weren't anything that we were looking for and we walked into the shelter at the SPCA and um I saw this dog his name was Bradley it was a terrible name for a dog I I think it was named after like Bradley College but sorry to all the Brads out there (laughs) sorry Brad (laughs) oops um but we like walked through and saw all the dogs and I was like I need I need to meet Bradley something just tells me that like he's super great I don't know I'm just gonna give this this Brad I'm gonna give this Brad a chance <laughs> so we like go into the room and immediately this dog pees all <laughs> over me <laughs> like, it's a good first impression <laughs> and I was like oh it's a dog he loves me <laughs> He just beat at me. He is a sign of love. I, I guess. guess. <laughs> I guess so. I, yeah. <laughs> and so I we like play with him. He's super great. My mom loves him. And um, then we leave <laughs> with, with no dog. And it was like, I don't know, like all the momentum build up. And I thought we were going to get this dog. But my mom was like, I have to come back without you. Like you're going to go back to college. And I need to know if this dog likes me or if it's going to be your dog and I'm just watching him while you're like at school. She needed to see if he would pee on her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think so. She she didn't get it the first time, so she wanted to see. So the next day she goes like right when they open cuz other people like wanted this dog and were looking at him and thought he was great. And so I don't think you can put a hold on a dog, but we like really were like uh, please don't get rid of this dog. <laughs> like this is our dog, I'm pretty sure. But my mom went by herself. And so like empty nester she went and she like fell in love with this dog and I came like 20 minutes later so she could like vibe with the dog and he peed on me again <laughs> so <laughs> it was like that's when you second knew. time's a charm he is coming home with me <laughs> so what was it like I mean because for me when my last childhood dog died um I had my own dog tater mm-hmm And obviously, I mean, you didn't have another dog with you, so you went to get another dog. What was it like right afterwards getting another dog, like right after you just lost one? Um, I would say for both of us, it was like it was really hard, but we're we're animal people. We're dog people. So like the house just felt empty and it felt 
I don't know, it was just uncomfortable to come home and not have, like, a dog, like, greet you or, like, yeah, <laughs> wake up and not have a dog that needs to be let outside or fed. It's like, what? It's a family member. Yeah, there's something missing. One this. There's something missing that's not there. So it was, that's why I think my mom took it so hard because I was away at college, so the dog was, Miles was his name, was her companion. And so it was just overwhelming and it was just weird to be, to not have that. So my mom, like, swore off dogs and for, like, three months and was like we're never getting a dog I don't want a dog and like but then my mom was like this is lonely and awful (laughs) like we need a dog so we met Bradley who is now Tucker and (laughs) Tucker yeah Tucker yeah (laughs) he's just an anomaly I don't know she's definitely kept him busy Definitely. I I make sure. So we have um, this Facebook account here in Fort Wayne, and it's the Lost Dogs of Fort Wayne. (laughs) Because (laughs) there are a lot of lost dogs in Fort Wayne, but at least like once a month, I'll be scrolling, and I see (laughs) Tucker pop up, and I'm like, oh, he got out again. (laughs) Yeah, and Renee always texts me before my mom does, like, I'll never know until Renee's like, your dog got out again, because I don't live at home anymore. (laughs) So I'm like, and then I call my mom, and she's sobbing on the phone. She can't find him, doesn't know what happened. And then 20 minutes later, she calls me back, still crying. I found him. Well, because your whole neighborhood knows him at this point. Yeah. So it's like, oh, there's Tucker. He's out of the fence again. Right. It's just like, oh, silly Tucker. (laughs) Like, fences are not for you. So after you got Bradley, why did you name him Tucker? Like, what was that name? You just thought of it? Like, he just looked like a Tucker? Or why did you decide to name him that? Okay, quite honestly, I wanted to name him something off of Grey's Anatomy, but, like, Derek (laughs) Shepard is not a good dog's name. And, like... That might be worse than Bradley. Yeah, exactly. I don't want a dog named Derek. That just doesn't sound good. It's, like, too human of a name. You're like, oh, I'm going to go hang out with Derek. And people are like, oh, your boyfriend? No. No. (laughs) My dog. He's a little hairier. It's my boxer pimple mix. (laughs) No. Um, So, I, like was looking at names and I think Tucker is still a Grey's Anatomy name but I think it's like um Dr. Bailey's she had a son and named him Tucker and maybe that was like her first husband's name I don't know I don't really watch I feel like Tucker isn't a human name so like Bradley isn't a dog name but Tucker isn't a human name yeah I (laughs) know sorry to all the Tuckers out there yeah sorry if your name is Tucker or Bradley we're just not with (laughs) I'm so sorry (laughs) I do. I really love dogs with like human names, though. Yeah, like a dog named Kevin, not Derek, though. Right. Like, <laughs> not Derek. Dog. That's too much. Like alliteration. I, I used to dog sit for a family, and they had a dachshund, and his name is Fred. <laughs> so, like I see that. Like that's does he perfect. have a sweater? Like a red sweater? No, but he does wear sweaters. Okay, because yes. I see dachshund named Fred. Nice sweaters. Great guy. Cute. Yes, <laughs> they know how to shop. Oh, yeah. Okay, so why did you name him Tucker? Well, I like, yeah, after Grey's Anatomy, I was like, oh, this is great. Tucker's, like, kind of a dog name, but also still Grey's Anatomy. Don't, I think, I don't know, that might be wrong. But I think, <laughs> I think there's, like, a character named Tucker. Okay, this isn't, this isn't a factual podcast. We're just yeah, talking about so dogs. Please don't email and say, uh, I'm literally going to get wrong. so many emails, and they're going to be like, there's no one in Grey's Anatomy named Tucker. I've watched that series 8,000 times, and there's n- there's no Tucker Well, then in I it. made it up. <laughs> and it just fits. Let me just hop on IMDb real quick yeah, and no, look I'm up like, Tucker I get on Grey's my phone? <laughs> <laughs> look it up while I'm talking. I'm getting kind of nervous. Yeah, so Tucker's like a good dog name. And he just looked like, I don't know, he was like, he's a pit bull mix, and I didn't want to name him like Hoss. Every time Tucker does something crazy, Kaylee's mom posts on Facebook what happens and then she says thanks the management so she always makes sure to make Facebook posts as the management yelling at Tucker on Facebook because she doesn't yell at him in real life because (laughs) why would you yeah exactly it doesn't work it doesn't work he's still going to do it so she vents on Facebook and some of these posts are hilarious I'm going to let Kaylee get them up all right you found one Yeah, I found a couple of them. Okay, so my mom posts, Dear Tucker, the management makes the bed in this house for a reason. There's no reason for a dog to get under the covers like a human. Stop messing up the beds. Thanks, the management. You know what's funny about that? I have owned two dogs that have slept underneath the blankets. Yeah, he does it like a real human. Honestly, like 
when he cuddles, he snores. So if he like lays Aww. next to me, he snores and he's really warm. And I've woken up in the middle of the night with his like arm around me. Like I'm the little spoon. He's the big spoon. You should have kept his name as Bradley because that's boyfriend material. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's definitely a Brad move. My boyfriend doesn't put his arms around me when we sleep. <laughs> I need It's fine. But the dog does. So. Yeah. There you go. That's all you need. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Let's see. Um, another bed one. Dear Tucker, it's a privilege to be allowed on the bed. I know your favorite ball is a challenge because it's the only toy you can't break. When you bring your favorite ball on the bed and chew a hole through it and the comforter and the sheets to the mattress pad, it's not appreciated. Please refrain from repeating this behavior. Thanks, the management. <laughs> okay. He's wild. You know how you can get like house insurance if something with your house goes wrong <laughs> or if it like burns down? Yeah. Is there dog insurance? I to, I think to replace sheets. <laughs> I feel like the insurance is just for like their health and not like the things exactly. That like, like I need insurance because my dog chews tennis balls on the bed and, and my bed and, <laughs> and my mattress bed <laughs> and also a pillow. <laughs> yeah, ooh, it's so bad. Okay, this one is a Thanksgiving themed. Once upon a time, there was a freshly baked pumpkin pie on the counter. I remember this day. She was so mad. Then the house management went to work and no one put the pies away. The house manager returned from the evil palace to find an empty clean pie pan on the floor and no pumpkin pie. Tucker strikes again. Okay. That's unfortunate. However, she left the pies out. <laughs> yeah, I know. I don't know if it was her or me, but like, it was probably a joint effort. Like, what do we expect there? Yeah, you I mean, I a- also <laughs> would eat a pie, and like, he probably right a freshly baked pumpkin pie. Yeah, I definitely would eat it. I know who I am. And pumpkin's good for dogs, so obviously he was trying to help his like yeah stomach. his digestive. He's system. like he's working it. I mean, he's eaten so much stuff. He's one time we like left him at a friend's house. While we were on vacation, he ate a couch. Like, he's destroyed a lot of stuff. He pulls, he, like, goes uh, counter surfing and takes all the stuff off the counter. Loves bread. Loves hot dog buns. <laughs> he's a fan of it all. So I feel like there's there's no stopping him. No. Like, if he wants something, he's going to get it no matter what. If it's right in front of you or when you're gone at work. Yeah, he'll figure out a way to get it. <laughs> yeah, we have to, like, clip him in his cage with, like, uh, like clip the door with, like, the hiking clips. <laughs> and he like, still gets out, <laughs> probably. He still gets out. It was so bad. There was, like, when we first got him, he just kept getting out. My mom had no idea what to do. And, and I was, like, off at college. So I was like, eh, you should figure it out. <laughs> I'm so sorry. So, you okay, you guys get this dog together. Uh-huh. And then you go off to college yeah. and you leave her with everything. <laughs> yeah, but I think it was good for her because she had like empty, an empty nest and we, she just filled it with this dog that was just like a toddler. So it was like, I never left the house. It was just, instead of me having two legs, she had a dog with four, obviously. <laughs> so how old is Tucker right now? Do you guys know since you guys got him from the shelter? Um, I think he's going to be five this year. So he's still a little baby. Yeah. Well, they lied. <laughs> the shelter. <laughs> they they said he was like a year and a half. And so we're like, great. He's like out of that puppy stage. He'll totally be fine. And so my aunt was a vet tech and she like looked at his teeth and she was like, yeah, he's like six months old. <laughs> and so we had a little, but he's huge because he's like a boxer pit bull mix. Right. So like he didn't look like a puppy, but like. He so definitely... then that probably explains him acting out. Yeah. And you guys didn't know right away, so you're like, why is this adult dog? <laughs> <laughs> why is this adult dog wreaking havoc in our home? Eating my pumpkin pie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's so bad. He, like, took tomatoes out of the garden. He he just he <laughs> does what he wants. Honestly, there's no stopping him. I'm wondering, because I got my dog on Craigslist, and I think that they wanted to get rid of her because of her anxiety and all of that. Do you think that someone surrendered him because of his acting out? Um, I don't know. I think that when they found him, he was astray, so I think somebody probably dumped him. Um, but also there was, like, some talk in the shelter of him being a bait dog mm. because he has, like, scars on his, like, lip and on his paw when we got him. So I'm not really sure. I mean, he definitely has separation anxiety, as any good shelter dog sometimes yes. has. <laughs> but um, I don't know. I, I'm i glad that whoever surrendered him did so we can have him. But it's unfortunate because 
I don't, I don't know. I'm not one to give up on any animal, bunny or dog, <laughs> cat or cat, or cat, or, cat. <laughs> Just add all or of bird, them. whatever's in there. So I don't know. But thanks to whoever did that because yes. he has a great home <laughs> yes. and loves his life and does what he wants. So Now with you, because you don't live with your mom right now, yeah, you have your own apartment. Mm-hmm. Do you think you're going to get a dog of your own or well, what do you think is in your future for dogs? If I had my own house, I would definitely get my own dog. Um, I have two cats right now, and so they don't hate dogs, but they're, they don't. They're cats. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they just are like, ugh, whatever. Um, but yeah, if, when I have a house, I'll have a house full of dogs. What's your dream dog breed? A like, mutt. <laughs> really? Yeah, I don't care. Like, I feel like sometimes it's like, why picket fence? Like, husband with a good job, golden retriever. But yeah, I like I don't know. I just like the ones that have, like, personality, and I don't really care what kind of dog it is, but mutt, mutts have my heart. <laughs> Always. And pit bulls. <laughs> Mostly pit bull, little mutt. You just go down the line of all dog breeds. <laughs> and... um, I like pit bulls and <laughs> German shepherds and <laughs> and all of the dogs. Well, on behalf of Tucker, I know he can't speak. I mean, he can, <laughs> yeah, but you just can't understand what he's saying. Thank you for adopting him. Yeah. I know he's in a good home, and I know he loves you. And I know, you know, whatever other dog you decide to get, all of them will love you. <laughs> all of the dogs, <laughs> because I know how you are with the animals, and I know any animal that you have is spoiled. Oh yeah, even my friends' dogs. Oh yeah, that's fine. All of them are spoiled. <laughs> all of them. I can't help it. Kaylee was over at my house this morning, and my dog. She's a lap dog, so she immediately just like walked on Kaylee's lap, and Kaylee was holding my baby. And then as soon as she wasn't holding the baby, <laughs> Tater replaced the baby on her lap. <laughs> And it was so natural. Right. She's just like moseying on (laughs) over. Like, my turn. (laughs) Oh, man. I love dogs so much. It's so great. I do, too. I I can't even, like, put into words how much I love dogs, which is why I'm doing this, because it's like other people's words can tell me how they love dogs. Like, when I look at Tucker, sometimes I just, like, want to weep because I just love him so much. (laughs) And I know people feel that way about their babies, but, like, not there yet. So, like, I feel this way about my dogs. Every dog. All of the dogs. Yeah. I remember I put on um, Twitter when I was pregnant. I was like, do you ever just, like, look at your dog and cry? Yeah, all the time. And I'm like, it's not even the pregnancy hormones. I did it before I was pregnant. And someone was like, just wait until you have your son, and then you'll do it a lot more often. And I'm like, they were right. But now I'm crying over him, and I'm crying yeah, over Tater. It's like both of them. It's like double duty. Yeah, that's going to be me one day. I'm just going to weep all the time because I'm surrounded by dogs and babies. <laughs> that's fine. I yeah. won't judge you. Okay, good. I'm on your side I'll remember here. this moment, this podcast episode. Well, thank you so much for hanging out today and talking. And I love Tucker just as much as you do. Well, no. No. Yeah. <laughs> no. no, I don't think you, you can. But thank you, you for love, trying. <laughs> you love Tucker the most. I love him third. Yeah. I love him after your mom. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Even my grandparents, You. I think you're above them. Okay. So, oh, you said I'm above them? I mean, like, in the realm of who loves Tucker. Okay. Cool. <laughs> it's like me, I was mom, like, I was going to be like, okay, well, I guess I'm like 10th, but then you said more, and I was like, <gasps> Yeah, so I am you're like, up there. I'm, I'm third. Top five, maybe? Top five. We'll do top five. Okay. I'll be fifth. I'll let someone else take three and four. Okay, me. <laughs> It'll be me. <laughs> I, need to, I need all of those rankings. It goes Kaylee loves him the most, and then her mom, and then Kaylee, and then Kaylee, and then Renee. Yeah, <laughs> back to me, and then you. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you again so much. I appreciate you hanging out today and talking and loving Tucker and being my friend oh, thanks <laughs> thanks for inviting me i'm so glad to be here all right that was today's episode again if you have a dog that has changed your life for the better and you want to tell me all about them you can at why i love dogs podcast at gmail.com or you can dm me at why i love dogs podcast on instagram kaylee it was nice talking to you does tucker have an instagram or any facebook account no he doesn't but i have some really great pictures i'll send to you some okay. tomato pigs, some sleeping <laughs> tomato pigs, pigs, some good ones. <laughs> if you want to see more Tucker, you can follow Kaylee on Instagram at? Uh, just Kaylee Collins, K-A-E-L-L-Y Collins. No spaces, no capitals. <laughs> Straight. <laughs> My name is spelled weird, so people have to know. 
It's not K A Y. I'm glad you clarified that. Yeah. No problem. <laughs> Thank you guys for listening, and I will talk to you next episode. The people. And Why I Love Dogs podcast is all about the dogs in your life that have changed your life for the better. There are people in the world, but also there are dogs. I believe every dog has a story and I want to be able to tell it. If you want a podcast episode dedicated to the special dog in your life, send us an email at whyilovedogspodcast at gmail.com. Follow us over on Instagram at whyilovedogspodcast or on Facebook at whyilovedogspodcast. I'm looking forward to hearing about the incredible dog in your life. I'm Renee and this is People and why I love dogs.